We are starting with that breaking news right now out of Meriden tonight. And that's where police say they found the remains uh, of that mother earlier this week in Waterbury. We regret to inform that the body that was uh, found yesterday was the body of uh, Miss Perry Mason. Perry Mason vanished a week ago with her boyfriend being labeled a prime suspect in her disappearance. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live right now with the mobile newsroom outside the Meriden Police Department where they provided an update this afternoon. Matt. Mark and Courtney, earlier this week, Perry Mason's family said they were praying, holding out hope, but also fearing the worst. And today, the Meriden Police Department had to break that devastating news. Children have no family whatsoever here. They moved here with their mother, just the three of them, to get a fresh start. For Val Holback, the sister of Perry Mason, the news is heartbreaking. That the body found Wednesday in a wooded area of Waterbury is that of her sister, missing since last week. Now two young boys, just 11 and 12, are without a mother. Since they've been ripped from their home, they've been through a trauma, they, they don't know anything that, you know, that's going on besides their mother is missing and she's no longer coming home. On Wednesday, Mason's boyfriend Jason Watson faced a judge charged with assaulting and strangling her last Thursday, just days before she vanished. The same day he was in court being called a prime suspect in her disappearance, detectives swarmed a wooded area off of Brookside Road in Waterbury where they found her body near a clothing recycling company that Watson works for. Since then, they spent hours collecting evidence, including at this Meriden house the couple shared with each of their kids. Last night, we saw detectives focus on the backyard, eventually towing a car away. It is very important that we come to a, you know, a successful conclusion in this. We want to make sure that we do this investigation properly. We want to make sure that we are respectful of their needs as well, too, and they're, and they're very upset. As police continue to investigate, Holback tells us her focus now is getting her nephews out of DCF custody and with family. They keep asking, when are we coming home with you, Auntie? We want to go home. But our main goal right now is to bring these kids home so they can, they can be with family. They need to be surrounded by love and support at this time. Now, Perry's sister, who's from Georgia, says she will remain in Connecticut, even renting an apartment here until she gets custody of those two boys. As for Mason's boyfriend, while he isn't charged in connection with her death or disappearance, the same day her body was found in Waterbury, the bail on his uh, assault and strangulation charges went up to $1 million. We'll have more on that part of the story coming up tonight at 6. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Meriden. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.